Oh, I did it again. Da 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 da. When you're androgynous, right? So you have X and Y, Y and X, flux capacitors, right? The capacity to experience the purest of living light with an enormous amount of hot fire, hot and cold magnets, right? Okay. So you would think even in one of their basic biology courses, right, like in third grade or even as Lemurian told me, she said, hell, our children learn this before age seven. Well, by their standards, that would be what, second grade, seven years old, seven years, seven, rainbow seven. She mentioned seven by seven years. Color charts. <laughs> okay. So when you realize that the male and the female chromosomes are paired to communicate with each other between matter and antimatter in order to what? Generate a holographic projection in this system. Hey, now I see you, now I don't. Phasing in, phasing out. And you had the word called shape shift. Oh, the shape and the form in which it was presenting itself is now shifting. Woo, going multidimensional. Huh? Woo, now you see him, now you don't. Masking technology, masking holographic technology, see? So the masks are being pulled off. See it for what it is. Living in secrets, living in lies. You live in fear of telling the truth of exposing themselves for who they really are. So they use the mathing technology to masquerade as HU Harmonic Universe One souls of the branch of mankind. Trying to fool you that they're mankind. They're not the branch of mind. The one is the branch of man, which is the one. I am the one. I am the one branch of mankind mated with Eve that goes on forever, gifting electrons to maintain the balance between the girl and the boy and the boy and the girl so that the little boy with Adam and the little girl with Eve see the tree of life creation before them. And that's called the knowing. Look what we created together, being one, mated together as a match made in heaven. Because we're in perfect balance, baby. That's called joined as one. That's eternal fire. That's right. Love is on fire to create. So when you see the imbalance between the two, between the hot and the cold, right? What I experience, particularly in this house sometimes, is like the, it's like being repelled or what we call resistance. So if you want to measure it across the entire network, or if you will, across the entire planetary consciousness software terrain, right? you can actually measure the resistance of every avatar, every software generating system, every software operating system as to whether it's balanced between the boy and the ghoul, the girl. Cold fusion, hot fission. How balanced is it? And of course, that's constantly changing, isn't it? Particularly between the sun rises and goes up and comes down across the entire sphere. The D wave. D-Wave, University D-Wave, Hub, Universal Server. So anyway, that's why all the mass was coming down, uh, because it was a matter of a measurement, and to be able to maintain what it is we're aware of, which is knowing the truth, which is the original identity, the original identity, the original template, the first musician, the original records. The original records. Yep. 
So here's like a little interesting caveat. So you can sort of get an idea, uh, particularly uh, through uh, if you look at the way in which Ralph Abramson, Ray, Ralph Abramson, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, a mathematician out of Princeton who developed a, a visual mathematics lab at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I tried to look him up a couple years ago, see what he was doing. And I couldn't locate him at that university. And so it, now it's a matter of how much time and energy, the way that energy, money, and time is quantified across the entire spectrum, right? In the planetary software terrain. So I just didn't want to spend a lot of energy on it. So that meant that it wasn't that important. Otherwise, I would have done it. Huh? So now we're back to how much energy you use in order to complete a multidimensional task, right? Because there's always other things to do 